subscribe and ring the bell to never miss an update. Hallo und herzlich willkommen bei Titi International. Hier kann man schöne, preiswerte Sachen finden, zum Beispiel Tischkultur, Möbel, Uhren und viel mehr. Hello everyone! Today on Lady Mary Bath, we are back in my husband's home state of the Saarland. I'm taking you back to TT International for some fantastic consignment shopping. Join me. It's always a highlight to shop this store. I look forward to this every time I'm at our home in Germany. And I find great gifts, additions to our home, and table settings. These clocks are fantastic. It's that time again. We're back at Titi International for some great consignment shopping. It's one of the best kept secrets in this part of Germany, and I'm always glad to take you back. We will discover some new treasures and familiar items with a new perspective. Let's take a look at this store. Grandfather clocks are timeless and bring charm to your space. This is a beautiful piece that is French. You will see the enamel dial, brass accents, and inlaid wood. It has been marked down to 480 euros, which is a little over $500. And the brand is Giffin Montpont, a true beauty. The prices are definitely good here. And I've seen clocks in the United States that are about $5,000 for this size and style. There's so much to discover in this room alone. Heavier on clocks and furniture, but there are occasionally some porcelain pieces. And how about the Delft lamp with a coordinating shade and this cabinet to show off your collection. Burled wood cabinet. You could furnish a home. This clock is also stunning. A grandfather clock is referred to as a Standuhr in German. This form is credited to the English clockmaker William Clement, who created this in 1670. Pendulum clocks were superior with their accuracy and staples in households and businesses and it was not surpassed until the early 20th century with new technology. You may wonder how to date a grandfather clock. Of course, you could research the manufacturer, but the clue is actually in the dial, the clock face itself. They started out rather small in 1680. They were eight to nine inches and over time increased by 1770. The 12 inch clock face was here to stay and they can last for generations, well over 100 years when they are maintained properly. And it's actually a nice thing to have in your home because they do not rely on batteries or electrical power. It's a great opportunity to acquire a grandfather clock when they are less popular with home decor and always a good idea. Blue and white has my attention along with a piece of Yadro that I will tell you more about. This Baroque style triple candle holder is porcelain perfection with cobalt and gold. I like that it is low lying. It is not going to obstruct the view quite as much as a taller one. Written in English on the back stamp, made in the GDR, German Democratic Republic, hand painted, 75 euros and echt cobalt. The blue onion pattern or Zwiebelmuster is a classic. It's been made for centuries. Priced at 280 euros, it is Meissen. And this is missing from a nativity set, Gaspar. Priced at 100 euros for this Yadro figurine. This cabinet is 320 euros. I can't believe the low price. Walnut, beautiful, even has that taffeta backing. A nice collection of antique French plates. A great example of older transfer wear. However, these are crazed. You would not want to use them for food service. Priced at 10 euros, you could create a beautiful wall display. 
a colorful example with a scene depicting Strasbourg gives us all the information there and the back stamp is as beautiful as the front design priced at 15 euros it's colorful and complete with a crown blue and white jugs you could certainly build a collection here including with Delft which is a famous pottery from the Netherlands and if you're on our Facebook group page Lady Mary Beth's table you will see many of us collect Delft and perhaps Trudy, one of our members, can explain the front of this jug. I'm sure it has a bit of history. Very interesting. And the price is just incredible. I'm amazed at the deals you can find in the store. Lots more clocks as well. And spice racks, canisters, gewürz, kümmel, muscat, pfeffer, and my favorite, Tsuka sugar. These are from the Art Deco era. And also a beer stein from Saarbrücken. This is the capital of our state of the Saarland. This flatware set is interesting. It's either ivory or bakelite. 480 euros. It's already on sale. It has a flat blade, which is quite different from the modern blade. It is marked Sheffield silver plate, and that part is stainless, most likely Bakelite. And there are even more clocks that await us in the store. And this has lots of design, some intricate features, and we'll talk more about this detailed set. This marble mantle clock has two matching urns. This could have been placed on a buffet or mantle. Priced at 599 euros, it is quite unique. It has a mercury pendulum, a hand-painted porcelain dial, and a lion, which is a symbol of royalty, nobility, and strength. Here's a look at the clock face. It is sweet with those little rosebuds. Absolutely intricate. This would be a statement set for your home. This is a shop full of dishes, and my favorite German manufacturer is Villeroy und Bach, a company that started in 1748 when Francois Bach and his three sons began manufacturing tableware. In 1836, Jean-Francois Bach merged with a local stoneware manufacturer, Nicolas Villeroy. Today, they're a publicly traded company known for their innovative design, outstanding quality, and timeless elegance. That was the basket pattern. And there are so many more that we can discover in this store. I'm always amazed at V&B patterns that maybe I had not seen before. And keep in mind, this is a consignment store. So folks bring in boxes of things that they've inherited. They're really ready to pass these on to someone else who can enjoy them, including that familiar blue and white pattern that's been around for almost 100 years and a mid-century example. This shop is like a museum of tableware that spans the ages. I will walk you through the evolution of the V&B designs. And now we're going back in time to a much older Villeroy und Bach pattern, probably one of the oldest that they have in the store. Priced at 25 euros for the oval bowl and lots of rimmed soups. such detail in this pattern. It's almost a half tone with that design, 10 euros. With the back stamp that tells us a lot about the history. Iris is a true antique pattern, one of the earlier ones that we can actually still find today in shops like this. And it definitely has a very unique style. And looking at that beautiful back stamp, we can find out more information on the dates. This was made from 1874 to 1909 because of that mercury style back stamp. We also see that it says Wallerfangen, which is a town here in the Saarland. Nicolas Villeroy opened a factory in 1789, closed in 1931 at that location. To give you an idea on the era in which this dish pattern would have been used, 1789 was the year of the French Revolution. 
and I wonder which patterns he produced back in the factory in 1789. I would love to see examples, even if in a catalog. There's also a museum here in Medloch that you can tour. And now, one of my favorite patterns of all time. I'm sure you've heard me talk about this. I have it in cabinets on two different continents. And I do have plenty, but there is one piece that I'm taking home today. Many different back stamps over the years in this pattern including different colored back stamps. I've actually had a pendant made of one of these. My beloved Bourguignon Blau was created in 1926. Beautiful transferware was made in several colors, in green, red, and even brown. There are some examples of that color in this store. There are many different back stamps you will also notice, made in West Germany, Germany, Fabrique Onza, when they were a French protectorate, and it also tells the history of the piece. And I can't miss this opportunity to add some more to our collection here at our home in Germany. This is a different sugar bowl. It could be a bonbon dish, priced at seven euros, and I'm definitely going to take that home today. My friend Theresia has recently started collecting the summer day pattern from VNB. I brought her to the shop and she was absolutely over the moon to find so many pieces. She has the coffee service. She's looking for cups and saucers, cake plates, and I recently gifted her with the candle holders. They have some unusual pieces you don't find in services today, including napkin rings and warming plates that are made of metal. Five euros for each napkin ring. That is a great deal. Floral patterns were popular in the 1970s and 80s. Summer Day debuted in 1970, Al Strasbourg in 1983, and they have a great selection of both of these designs. Here is a huge selection of Al Strasbourg, along with another pattern featured on the table. I like the tulip motif, and it's got the green band, very old world looking, and many colors you could pull from when setting a table pink, blue, yellow, green, and that cream background. Definitely like this pattern. And I must admit, the Burgenland Braun is not exactly my taste. I know that I'm partial to blue and white, but I can appreciate that it was made in a different color. And the back stamp tells us that it is definitely very old. I've only seen this twice, and it happens to be in the same store. It is quite rare. And this is definitely a different direction with dinnerware with a tropical look. Even though we've seen birds and other patterns from many years ago, this is definitely something that's more vibrant. Price at seven euros. If that's your pattern, then that's definitely a good deal. It's hard to find. These do go for a lot on the secondary market. The Pasadena pattern, I do remember thinking it had a bit of a Southwest influence with that design. Priced at four euros, 50. The 1990s saw a new shape in tableware from the Heinlich company acquired by V&B, the Amazona pattern, which has some parrots, definitely a different take on dishes. I remember when this debuted in 1991 at the showroom in Medlach. And the Pasadena that carries the traditional VNB back stamp was also launched that year with the same shape. A few more Pasadena pieces. I must say I don't find this too often in resale stores. The ivy reminds me of Franciscan ivy, but what a different look. And a modern twist in dinnerware. This is a cup and saucer, if you can believe that. I do have this same mug with a city motif. I have them in my cabinet in Germany, Luxembourg, France, Paris, Rome, cities around the world, and it feels great in your hand. I actually love the mug, but don't know that I would collect the pattern. New Wave is a contemporary design that launched in 2002. You see those interesting lines. They have an entire dish pattern and it is still active today. You can see the evolution of the V&B patterns. This is a great example of a contemporary look. This cabinet is stunning and holds some beautiful porcelain pieces, including some fine, delicate, hand-painted lighting ware. 
These have a bit of history I will share with you. And the younger generations certainly don't embrace lighting wear such as this. And it is hard to find anything traditional in a lamp store in Germany. All the more reason to shop consignment for a variety and a bit of history. Pretty pink porcelain, well-priced, 12 euros for these mocha cups made by Hochenreuter. If it's been in the store for a month or more, it goes down 20% and you certainly get a better deal. And as we've often talked about, a Rechaux or Stöfchen warmer is not made with modern day pieces. A trio of beautiful porcelain lamps. And the back stamp is Porcelan Manufaktur Plaue which dates back to 1877 in Thüringen, former East Germany. And of course, that was state-run during the DDR, Deutsche Demokratische Republik. And in 1995, it was purchased by a German porcelain manufacturer. More beautiful finds, including an array of chinoiserie. You will notice the blue and orange colors really pop. And there's a reason for that. They are complementary colors. They are directly opposite each other on the color wheel. They have the highest level of contrast between these two hues, which of course makes it a bit more visible and vibrant. A stunning set. A stunning chinoiserie collection from Kaiser Porcelan. I've shared the history of that company in this store. The Ming pattern is a nod to the Ming dynasty, dating from the 14th through the 16th centuries, beautiful colors, and this is when porcelain was king. And with the all essential porcelain making ingredient, kaolin, not yet available in Europe, they had to rely on imports. This would be a beautiful addition as a wall hanging. It's 50 euros, which is about $55. Beautiful back stamp here, and it's already ready for hanging. What a beauty. It's not often that I find a pale green cut to clear. Usually you see it more in the emerald. This is a spectacular vase priced at 75 euros. It has the look of Waterford around the rim. And then we see that European star and some more intricate design. I'll tell you more about how that's produced. A fabulous cut to clear vase in that light green. I just love everything about it. Priced at 75 euros. It's listed as a Bodenvase floor vase. I can see this anchoring an entry table or a buffet. And if you look at the details with a floral pattern that was made using a copper wheel. I'm sure this was a proud piece for a family and it will find new life again in this consignment store. A beautiful pattern that absolutely is museum worthy, including a reticulated bowl. It has a familiar pattern name that is seen often, Dresden, which is a city in East Germany. This is absolutely one of my favorite patterns they have in the store. I wish that I could have added this to my collection. It's made by Huchenreuter. That beautiful lion back stamp from 1814. And this covered dish is 20 euros. What can you get for about $22? Not much. And that's why I shop in the store. The vase is 30 euros and you certainly don't have to have the entire dinnerware set. 20 euros for a cup and saucer and cake plate. That's called a cafe gedeck. Hand painted. Just love it and some antique chinoiserie. I'll tell you more about these pieces. And of course, we have to look at the back stamp, Shanghai. Villeroy und Boch made this Shanghai pattern from 1874 to 1909. This is a great example of chinoiserie, and you could also use these as wall hangings. These are not food safe since they're crazed. And if you don't want to hang them on the wall, how about using them as a base for a compote dish or to build up a centerpiece? Yes, it's that time again. There is an entire room devoted to timepieces, wristwatches, mantel clocks, wall clocks. They have it all. And lots of wood, metal, even porcelain pieces. 
This would be a standard clock you find in German homes, something that's been passed down through the generations. And we are going to focus on more of the Art Deco in mid-century. This one has some mother of pearl detailing. It looks to be French. And that's exactly what we have at our home in Germany. And you'll notice it is a bit of a stylized look with the numbers, definitely 1930s. It looks like it could be out of an Agatha Christie movie. Time stands still with these timepiece treasures. You can find anything from neoclassical to mid-century and all very affordable. If you're wondering why there are so many clocks under one roof, they are working through a collection of over 200 clocks from one private collector. You could add authentic mid-century to your home decor for 36 euros. This is a Hamle, which is a very well-known clockmaker based in Baden-Württemberg, 102 years of tradition, four generations, and they are known for their precision and quality. Many of the workings of the clocks in this room are probably from Hamla, and this carries the brand throughout. This really does have a bit of a barley twist inspiration. I like the mix of the brass and wood, 250 euros. And they also have some blue and white porcelain clocks. The figurines were quite popular. We will see more in the next segment at the Trödelcenter, also in Germany. Look at the enamel clock face. Just love it. 85 euros, and this is French. I personally prefer Roman numerals on a clock face. And this Bodenvase, or floor vase, is one that is striking. I thought about getting, it is Esch Kobalt from Schumann, Alsberg, Germany. 60 euros. I wish I had purchased it. How about this floor vase from Schumann Arzberg, Bavaria? Very modern look. I think that probably is mid-century. It is Esch Kobalt, priced at 60 euros. And there is yet another room to discover in this store. You could spend all day, come back the next day, and still not see it all. Mid-century was not all about the furniture and clocks and clothing. Also, dishes. And yes, there is a different look. The gold was very popular, and this is well-priced. And we are transported to the mid-century. Imagine this on a dining table, but go with many different styles as well. This is Johann Zeltmann from Bavaria, known as Qualitätsporzellan, quality porcelain, and you'll see that thick gold band. Definitely has a 1960s vibe. It is well-priced at 149 euros, and it is a service for 12. You will notice we have double of just about every serving piece. Coffee pots, terrines, gravy boats, and platters. You could easily share this with a friend if you each wanted six play settings and it would be even more affordable. It's nice to have so many pieces and a classic look. Yes, it does have a mid-century vibe, but that can carry through to many different styles. You could be traditional, modern, and incorporate some of these pieces. And a gravy boat can be used for so many purposes. It doesn't have to just be for table side service. A soup terrine. You'll notice that notched edge there, and that is just waiting for a ladle. I do enjoy looking at furniture, especially the price differences. This cabinet is 720 euros, and it would be probably about 3,000 and up in an antique store in the US. You can definitely find some deals and they actually have a room downstairs with more furniture. I will take you there next visit. This Henri de cabinet behind me is well priced at 780 euros. Lots of beautiful detail and carving. And this piece actually fits on top. If you have low ceilings, as many of us do here in Europe, this would be a lot harder to incorporate. And it's a good thing that it can be removed if you don't have the space and a tray that is definitely coming home with me. Reminds me of the large pink and gold oval tray that we found in Tennessee. You probably remember that at Easter time. This Florentine tray is a great find for six euros. It's made in Italy, love the gilt finish. 
I've shared some of the history in a previous visit to Franklin Antique Mall in Franklin, Tennessee. So glad to take this home today. Lots more glass and porcelain to discover here, along with some collectibles. The beautiful blue has my attention. You don't find this shade often in vintage glass in Europe. It's mostly the pink or amber, and the price is right. Vintage glass is very affordable on the secondary market in Germany. This beautiful blue is perfect for serving. You can fill it with strawberries. Priced at five euros, a little over five dollars. And I have this same color and style in a different shape, and this will be perfect for my coffee table. Lots more to discover, a fondue set, German pottery, and more mid-century dinnerware. There are similarities. It has the thick gold band. It is a bit of a different shape, and it has the white background. Definitely a classic look. And you'll notice there are larger serving pieces. You don't find quite the same in dinnerware today. You don't always have a matching soup tureen that's available to order. Another mid-century table setting for six. This is coffee and dinner service, priced at 99 euros. And it has the Hutschenreuter Backstamp, a company that has its origins in 1814, founded by Carolus Magnus Hutschenreuter. And in later years, his son Lorenz opened up a factory in Zelb, Bavaria. They became a rival for English porcelain manufacturers. This pattern has vibrant colors, almost a starburst, but yet a feminine shape. Let's look at the back stamp, KPM, and that is Königliche Porzellan Manufaktur Berlin. Even with the gravy boat, two different sizes, platters, and a terrine that looks like it's missing the lid, 149 for the set. I wouldn't mind just adding the dinner plates and salad plates to my white dishes. And they also have some crystal pieces, including this basket. Isn't that a showpiece? And everything is well priced. The Hofbauer birds, highly collectible in the United States, that was one of the big export patterns. They list this as a letter holder at $7.50. Perfect for napkins. I'm always looking for small rose bowls. Flowers are very affordable in Europe. You can take that to a florist, spend probably $10 and have them fill it with something wonderful. With the original Bleikristall sticker made in West Germany for six euros. And they also have something similar to our cut crystal. American Brilliant, it's not, but maybe there is a connection. 20 euros is a very good price for this cut glass piece. And Germany actually has a lot to do with modern cut glass. It originated in Egypt in 1500 BC, and later the Romans had cut glass 600 BC in this area of the world. And in the 17th century, Germany developed a sturdier colorless glass that could withstand the cutting. A beautiful treasure with a bit of history a great representation of this fantastic store. What fun it was today. So glad you joined me today for Titi International, where you can find some great deals for home, decor, and gifting. Thanks again for joining Lady Mary Bath. Elevate your everyday with consignment shopping.